Okay, welcome back to round two. We are currently 0 1, so we're looking to win out to try and win some boosters from this uh, particular pod. Lose the dice roll, make sure we're recording, which we are. This hand is a keeper, I think. Opponent Mulligans, so feel happier when we're opponent Mulligan again, did he? No, he didn't. Okay. Hands fine. We definitely can't afford to get rid of the Shimmer Skill Jake here. Ghostwalker, sure. Well, we've certainly got the land we did, so we know we can cast Shimmer Skill Drake. Fast start would be bad for us here, for sure. Tacrop Skirmisher. Get Tacrop Skirmisher over own. How do we be most mana efficient about this? I think it's going to be quite difficult with all these three drops. I think I'm okay with doing this like this. I think that's fine. I don't think it's great, but I think that's probably the best use for mana. We did that in our own step because, um, you know, to get around, to play around any sort of counter magic or anything like that our opponent has. Even initiate, sure. Yep. Glyph Keeper. Well, I guess what we have to do this turn is play our Skirmisher and pass. I mean, I still think we have inevitability in this game. Our opponent's only got two cards. We have uh, a handful of gas. Opponent needs to exert here to get in. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. And we're in this shape. Fine. That's fine. Cartouche of Solidarity. Yep, yeah, that's fine as well. Yep. Yeah. Play our Shimmer Skill Drake here. Does a lot of work against this board. Apparently has one card in hand, so I think I think we're in pretty good shape here actually. You know, if we hit another land next turn, being able to bounce a couple of our opponent's spells is you know it's gonna tempo him pretty severely. Priest. Okay, so his hand's now empty, which is good to know. We know exactly what we're playing against. Um, I think we can afford to. I think we just want to play another Shimmer Skill Drake, to be honest. We could play Naga Oracle. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with just playing another Shimmer Scale Drake. I'm passing. Or do we want to attack with the first one? No, I think I think I'll hold back for this turn at least.
I feel like we've stabilised now. Our opponent only has one card in hand. We have a lot of gas in hand, so. Let's see what our opponent plays. He embalms the skirmisher. Sure. Yeah. So I think we just cast this bouncing skirmisher and. Even initiate, I guess. I feel quite comfortable attacking with one of these guys now. Indicating a trick. I guess we have to try and see it. What can we do that best takes advantage of our mana this turn? Um, I guess we can play Cartouche. Is that best for us then? I guess we just swing with one play Glyph Keeper. Glyphkeeper isn't great on this board because it trades with the, the initiate obviously. Maybe we just play Naga Oracle. You know, it seems fine. We want kind of all of these. Um, put the river serpent into the graveyard, I guess. Yeah. I feel pretty confident now we can sort of, it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent's Shimmer Skill Drake swing with both hours. Opponent replays it. We just bounce it again. Pretty savage getting those two Angler Drakes actually. Cast out on the Angler Drake, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Opponent swings. Wow. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's bounce. The Anointer Priest. Let's bounce it even initially. Let's not do it too greedy. Yeah, opponent scoops. Yeah, the second Angler Drake got us there. Cast out very good. Don't think we have any 
I think we can particularly deal with that. With, yeah. Winds of Rebuke, I guess we could bring in. I think I'm okay with running this back, actually. Deck worked pretty well there. Did what we needed it to do. Certainly bringing in Winds of Rebuke is, is, is definitely worthy of consideration, especially when we have so few two drops. Why my dog, you know, dog snoring there. We have a two drop, so I think we have to keep this. We can obviously cycle Wandering Death. It would be very good if we could see a uh, swamp for too much longer. We have a couple of draw steps to do so, though. Binding on me, sure. Oh, we got it. Player Skirmisher. Anointer Priest, sure. I think we just want to play our Doom Dissenter here. And pass. Pity we couldn't leave black up there for the supernatural stamina, but man has not worked that way so far. Point doesn't have anything either. I think I'm swinging with the Doom Dissenter here. See what our opponent does. See if our opponent blocks. He does. Okay. Put our bone picker. Opponent has some kind of counter. Yeah, he cancels, that's fine. I think we just want to pass here. Perhaps we don't want to cycle Wandering Death. I think we actually do. I think actually getting our man online is better. As much as I'd like the, the bone picker back, I think our opponent's not doing much. I think it's better for us to, to cycle, try and hit that land drop. Yeah, it's not happening for us. Let's get out the edifice. See if our opponent has another counter. It would appear not. You know, your priest doing good work here, holding back our team. Yep, that's fine. We actually have to play this, unfortunately. Um, it gets us our extra mana, gets us out of our situation in terms of mana, so I think we just want to play this, as depressing as that is. Perhaps we play Trial next turn. The even mind sister isn't too much of an issue at the moment. Now I'm feeling much better about uh, holding off on that Splendid Agony. Kill him. 
both. thing. opponent wants to trade off his binding mummy for uh, for a zombie token I'm absolutely happy with that surprisingly he doesn't hey well that makes me feel considerably better let's do the same again I think Afford to start getting a little bit more aggressive actually. Get that anointer priest out of the way. I feel much better about things now. Especially seeing as our opponent's flooding badly. Yeah, that's fine. this turn obviously we will bounce the uh, bounce the anointer priest I guess I think it makes an awful lot of difference at this point <laughs> well I guess we'll play it find ourselves a swamp So stinger, which does a lot of work on a board like this. We'll leave the counters on him, and uh, see how we get on from there. Close game so far. I think we're slowly grinding this one out. Secret cat, yeah.
this point. I think we have inevitability at this point. Yep, sure. That's a slight problem, but we can start digging for answers. I've used two of our answers in the Splendid Agony, so yeah, not ideal for sure. Only has one card in hand. Okay, well. Absolutely happy to see your trick. Whatever it may be. There we go. Impeccable timing. Yep. So we can play our Shimmer Scale Drake. We have the fan bearer on lockdown because of the edifice, so... We've hit Glyph Keeper, so... can of course use it in response, which he will. But we definitely win this fight in the long term. I think this board's fairly locked down. We do need to keep an eye on our time. Be quite a long game, quite a long match this, but I think we have inevitability. We'll try and play a little bit faster. Even initiate, sure. Yep. just going to swing in here with the creatures we have available. I don't see how we lose this one now. Yeah. We will untap our island. Play out another Shimmer Scale Drake. We pass. fairly certain that's game. Yeah, he's going to try and draw some cards, see what he can get a hold of. Yeah, we got there. Okay, uh, a very grindy match, but uh, I think we had inevitability. So hopefully you'll join me shortly for round three.